In this video what I'm going to do is show you how to measure slope gradients on a map. Um, I'll just say for instance I'm on this road here and I want to walk along the river to this bend here and I want to make my way up to this track here. And as you can see from the river there to the start of the climb it's pretty flat but then there is a climb up to the track what exactly is the gradient of that climb or that slope? I'll show you how to measure it now. Just zoom out. What you would use is that and that's a navigator's slope angle tool. And what it does, um, it measures the distance, that, well the gap between the index contours. You can use it on a 125 and a 150 map. Um, just zoom in again, I'll show you how it works. You can get a closer look. Now then, the index contour lines. And you should, as you can see, from the start of the climb up to this track here, there are actually three index contours. That's number one, that's number two, that's number three. So it's three index contours. And what you would do is, you've got the scales along the edge here, in this case for the 150, and you would line up measuring the gap of the first two index contours. And you can see there that they actually line up there. You see number one, number two actually line up, measure it with that gap, and you can see. 20 degrees. So then you go on to index contour number two to number three. Use the same method, measuring the gap between the two, and you can see well, that's spot on again. It's index line number two and index line number three. You can see again it's 20 degrees. So from bottom of the climb or the bottom of the slope to the top of the slope which is to the track that you want to get to it's a continuous slope of 20 degrees and that's it that's how you measure the angle of the slope on an ordnance survey map 